What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we'll be drawing the Leviathan skin for Fortnite. Now the first thing we want to do is start in the center of our page with the upper eyelid. So leaving a gap in the center, let's go over to the left side. We're going to draw a curve. Coming down, out, and then up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going over towards the right, from down, out, and then up. And now we're going to curl down the eyelid. Starting back on the left, and then curve up to the top. Go out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Going up and then down. Let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. Starting at the top of this curve, we're going to draw a large circle. Going around, down towards the bottom, and then we'll pull that up towards the bottom curve along the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curve down towards the bottom of the eye, around, and then pull that up and in. Let's add a highlight circle along the left side of each eye. So starting up against the edge of the eye, go a small circle, come in, and then back out. We're going to line this up on the right side and do the same thing. We're just going to see the bottom edge of that highlight, and we'll go back up. Let's draw that same size circle in the center of the eye for the pupil. We're going to tuck this in behind the highlight. So we'll start at the bottom, curve around, and go up underneath the eyelid, and then continue along the top. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Going around, up, and then in. We'll fill the pupils in black. Let's add a fold in between the eyelids. Starting from the left side, we're going to curve down and back up on the right. Let's move down and draw in the mouth. Directly underneath the left eye, we start out here, curve up in the middle, back down on the right. Now we just want to blend into a curve going up towards the corner of the mouth. We curve down and then back up. We do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to trace that same curve for the bottom of the mouth. We come down and up. Now we're going to follow that same curve going across towards the right. And we'll bend that back up towards the right corner of the mouth. And then we're going to add in the teeth. Starting from the center, we're going to angle down and out toward the left and right. Angle back up and out. Let's add one more tooth on either side. And then we'll fill the inside of the mouth in black. Let's step down and draw the lower edge of the head. Starting over on the left side, we're going to draw a curve coming down in the middle, and we'll pull that back up on the right side. Let's curve out the side of the head. Starting back on the left, we go out, and then up, and do the same thing on the right. Now before we close off the side of the head, I'm going to go up to the very top and add the fin. So at the very top in the center, we start with a point. From this point, I'm going to curve down and then out towards the left, go back to the top, curve down and out towards the right. And then from the side of the head, I'm going to step up, we're going to curve the side of the head, going up and then in behind that fin. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving out and then down towards the right, leaving a little gap. Let's add the fins on the side of the head. Starting from this bottom line, curve out, and hook that back in, and do the same thing on the right. Going out, up, and then in. Then back on the left side, we're going to curve in and up towards the top of the fin. And we'll come down and out in behind the head. I'm also going to add a seam across the center of the fin. From the bottom of the line, we're going to step up, curve up, and in the short line. And do the same thing on the right. Let's add some more detail to the head. We're going to start with the stripes along the top. Starting on the left side, come down, and bend that in, go to the right, 
and do the same thing. Now I'm going to taper that back out toward the top of the head. Let's add a couple more on either side. I'm going to step out, go down, and in. And then again, we're going to taper that back out and up. Let's add one more. Now I want to accentuate the brow, so we're going to add a fold along the top. From this line, we're going to step up, step out, and then up. Line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now let's add some spots across the face, starting from the top, curve up, down, and then in. Draw a small half circle along the bottom, and then we'll close off the right side with another curve, going out, and then in. Let's add one above the eye, coming up, and then down. Up a little bit higher, and then all the way down towards the eyelid. Let's add one along the bottom of the chin. Going up, and go down. Go a smaller one, right beside it. And go up, and then down toward the bottom of the head. Let's draw the base of the helmet along the bottom of the head. From this corner, we're going to curve out, come down the middle, and then back in on the right side. Almost like a long oval. Going out, and down the middle. Up on the right, and then pull that back in. Now I want to trace that along the outside. So I'm going to step up, just follow that all the way around, go the middle, up on the right, and we'll pull that in. And then we're going to add a hole along the inside. Starting on the left, curve up and in behind the head, line this up on the right, curve out and then down. Now we're going to fill that inside area in black. Now we're going to connect the outer edge of that inner oval with a large circle going around the head. So let's start up here. We're going to go out, round up the side, Go up towards the top. I'm going to round this out. Come down. And I'm just going to pull that in on the right side. Let's add the tape over on the left side. Starting from the outside edge, curve down and in. Angle down and out. I'm going to follow that same curve, going out and then up. And we'll tuck another piece of tape in behind. On the side of the head, we'll step in, curve up, in behind, continue up along the inside. We're going to flatten off the ends with an angled line. And from the bottom, we'll curve up, in behind, continue along the top. Let's move down and draw on the body. We start in the center of the collar, we draw two straight lines. One on the left, and then one on the right. Close off the bottom with a straight line. I just want to trace this out along the sides and bottom. So we'll come down on the sides and then close off the bottom. Let's go to the outside of the outer oval. Draw two straight lines coming down. Now I'm going to follow that same curve coming back in behind this clip. Down, then in, and then we'll continue out and up on the right side. Now I'm going to move in, draw the sides of the body. Starting on the left side, curve out and down towards the left hip, move over towards the right, curve out and down towards the right. Let's add the zipper across the center of the body. I'm going to draw two straight lines coming down. Start with the one on the left. We're going to go past the hips, go to the right, draw that same length line, close off the bottom with a straight line. And then we're going to add a simple camera over on the right side. Starting from the zipper, pull straight out, come down, and then pull that back in. We're going to add a circle in the center. And then we're going to add that strap going across. From here, we're going to draw two straight lines going towards the left, 
and then we're going to continue those lines in behind the camera towards the right side of the body. Let's add the pad across the side of the body. Start from the left hip and go up and in. We'll pull that straight up underneath the strap and the camera. Now from the bottom of that zipper, I'm going to step down and draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down from the lower torso, leaving a gap in the center, go to the left, curve out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, curve out and down towards the right heel. And then we're going to round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the heel, and curve down and then up towards the toe, and do the same thing on the right. Now from the toe, we're going to draw a half circle, going up towards the top of the foot, and I'm going to pull this all the way down towards the bottom of the foot. Do the same thing on the right, going up towards the top, and then pulling that down. We're going to add a strap. From the top of that curve, go in and then down. And then we'll add a toe cap. From the tip of the foot, we're going to step up, curve in, and then down. Now we're going to thicken up the sole. From the toe, we'll draw a short line coming down. Do the same thing along the heel. And then we'll follow that same curve coming down and then back up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's move back up and draw the side of the leg. Starting from the left hip, curve out, down, and then pull that in on top of the foot. And do the same thing on the right side. And then from the top of the foot, we step up from the outside of the leg, curve down, and then up. Line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now from the inside edge of the foot, we draw that same curve coming in. Let's add two straps across the thigh. Starting from the left side, we're going to angle down, and then bend that in. Line this up on the right, and do the same. Step down, and just trace that out, going across. And then we'll add a small knee pad on the outside. Starting from the side of the leg, come straight in, and come straight down on top of the boot cuff. Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the arms, but I wanna start with the shoulder straps first. From the top of the body, I'm gonna step out, draw a straight line coming down, and the same thing on the right, and then we'll come straight in towards the side of the body. Now from the bottom corner, we're gonna step in, Curve down and in toward the side of the body. And then from the bottom of the strap, I'm going to move up. We'll curve out and down towards the wrist. Do the same thing on the right. I'm going to go back to the left side and draw the thumb. We're going to draw a small half circle. Curve in and then back out. We're going to connect the bottom of the thumb to the wrist with a curve. Going up and in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to add three fingers on either side. So I'm going to start from the bottom of the thumb, I'm going to curve down and then up, step down, curve down and up the second finger. Now the third finger, I'm going to curve out, go up, and I'm going to bend that in underneath the helmet. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to separate out the fingers of the glove. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, I'm going to curve down and up. The same thing on the second and the third finger. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Let's draw on the cuff of the sleeve. Start from the top of the thumb, curve up and out. Step up and draw that same curve coming in. Do the same thing on the right. Let's add a small pouch on the outside of each arm going up underneath the helmet. Starting on the left, we're going to angle up and out. Line this up on the right. And we'll angle up and in behind the helmet. And that's pretty much it. There's the Leviathan skin from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.